Where, here we go. <coughs> I picked this painting uh, because it, it's got part of the bridge in it. It's got that tree on the side of the bank and, and the river's up at the moment, about 10 or, 10 or 15 feet, uh, which brings the water level right up to, the, uh, to this gum tree on the left. Uh, but on the right hand side too there's a, a bit of waddle uh, next to some gum trees, a big old gum tree. And it's turning a little bit orange here, it's getting ready to, you know, they, they change from their bright greens, go down to rusty greens, uh, rusty colours and then uh, just fall off. So that's what's, what's appealed to me in this painting. Um, I may even, if it's a nice day tomorrow, I may even start another one but try and get that in a different time of day and different atmosphere and I may even put a paddle boat in that one. Um, I'll see how I go. Uh, but this one's going to be interesting, it's quite going to be a nice little colour composition and uh, have some nice reflections in it and um, yeah, uh, it'll come up alright. I'm quite happy how it started, I'm glad the day turned out a reasonable sort of a day so if you come down here and start uh, doing a bit of painting outside you know because I, I love painting outside and I love painting down at this spot actually around along here a hundred couple hundred yards along this uh, part of the river uh, you know that's where all the paddle boats come by so I mean I can put paddle boats in paintings if I need be uh, gives me the option to sell things too and that here but uh, yeah, it's uh, quite an interesting sort of a little spot. I've had a good old chat with some people today, you know, um, I love that too, you know, so Jack's happy. It just lays around around along the, the banks and uh, does his job. And um, yeah, so this is ultramarine blue I'm using here. I've just got a little bit of oil on it, just sliding over the reasonably smooth surface. Um, I'm not even going to colour it in with the with the ultramarine. I'm just getting a, an outline, and then I'll start washing in the colour. I'll come from the sky and work down, try and get a, a, a get. You know, this is the composition, like I talk about the colour composition. Get the colour composition going, so I can uh, virtually. If I want to finish this painting, I can virtually take it home and finish it from there because uh, I'll have had most of the information I need in the painting to put all the basics in uh, and anything that I feel like I want to put in it to put a little bit of extra uh, into the painting I can do so you know um, but yeah so I'm uh, you know I'll, I'll work on this one too tomorrow and uh, I thought I'd I thought I'd put it on uh, YouTube, if people, love, if people want to have a look at it, it's, um, you know, buddy, yeah, it's just, a, you know, it's, um, what have I done here, don't know what I'm doing here, I've just buddy done something to the computer, oh, hang on, no, it's working, it's working all right working all right so yeah so I just put my lines in in a color composition and that and then I can work from that tomorrow while I'm down here while I'm even working on another one I can sort of play around the colors because it will be virtually the same basic colors like ultramarine blue a bit of oh you I, I normally work with two blues two yellows and two reds a cool and a warm blue and the same thing with the yellow and the same thing with the red so, and you can virtually do any sort of landscape you want to do with those, you know, so, and titanium white, of course. And look, I always have a little bit of lamp black or mask, well, mainly lamp black if I want to use it. Um, but you know, most of my dark colours can be done with ultramarine, blue, uh, you know, a bit of burnt umber or raw umber, and uh, a little bit of uh, magenta or something like that. So, I don't have to really... Uh, you know, worry too much about um, but, uh, having too many paints out there, you know, I can have just a, the basic, the basics uh, to do the painting and it helps with my brain, if my brain's complicated so the, the less colours I actually use 
uh, in my, my landscape, the brooder is. I know when years ago when I was painting as a kid, I'd have all the tubes and all the greens. I don't know how many greens I'd have, but I'd have all these greens, all these blues and reds and yellows and different colours and ochres and all the all the, lot, the whole bloody pile, you know. But um, well, you don't need that today, and you know, and uh, and. Um, you know, I don't use a lot of yellow ochre in here, but I use a bit of raw sienna, which is a similar sort of a colour. Um, and, uh, and I can get some nice watercolours with that, you know, mixed with ultramarine blue and a little bit of green or red or whatever it is. Uh, too, so... But yeah, when I was doing this painting, I've had to cut a bit out of it, um, because... I had my elbow, oh, I forgot me. uh camera stand and, uh, and I've got two of them I still forgot and uh, so I uh, had to sit the uh, the camera on the, on the trailer and every time I moved in the first section part of it it would just go blurry and I don't know what, what was happening there so maybe the camera was on sensitive mode or somebody thing but I've cut that out anyhow and just, just put in the parts that were it sort of gives you an idea of how I've put in the colour composition and that and, and you know like when they sit well um, and you're happy with them when, you, when you're happy with the composition and then you're happy with the colour composition you know you know you're working towards a nice painting you know and uh, and you're going to be uh, pleased with it you know because uh, it's a happy feeling very very happy feeling and uh, Anyhow, there ain't too much noise on this one. I don't even know whether I've got that much music going on this. It's I don't think it's even that long a video. So, but it'll give you the idea of my composition for tomorrow if I get out there. Providing it don't rain. Looks like a good night tonight. So it could be a good day tomorrow. We'll see see what happens. And um, I don't really want to touch this painting back in the office here. If I can get down the river and uh, and work on it down there, because I like to pinch the light and the, the little changes and things like that with the with the light, you know, it gives you more ideas into to finish your painting off with uh, than working under light, because it just stays the same. You shine the light on your painting, and uh, the, the and and if you've got a photo. The, you, there's no change in the photo it just stays where it is so yeah the eye that's that's a good part about getting out and playing here painting is is getting that change of light um, which helps to create a good painting you know it gives it gives the idea at a, a good atmosphere and a good story to the whole the whole picture so um, yeah so you know, you can see I'm putting on pretty simple strokes. I'm not fighting here trying to make any of it look, uh, you know, special or anything. I'm just putting the water in with a few down strokes and then I'll run a few horizontals across it and a little bit of sky and I haven't been too fussed about that and then I've just run across to let, uh, to put the bridge where, where the bridge goes. So, but I don't have to be too fussed with the bridge. Not in this one. But if I go and put a paddle boat in, I have to be pretty accurate in where I where where the bridge goes in the painting because the water's come up. I can't use older photos to put it in there now because the paddle boats were ten or fifteen feet down from the top underneath the the bridge. So it buggers up your perspective. So unless I've got some photos of the paddle boats going under the bridge here, but I didn't take any today. So but I've got some nice photos with some nice reflections and and stuff to, to make even to, to even make some paintings of the bridge in the office, you know. But um yeah, look. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad way to make a quid, you know, bloody painting on the spot, you know, with a few paintings and stuff like that. People can have a look at your work and they can relate to your work and they can compare your painting to the uh, the areas that you're painting and they may not buy a painting that you're actually doing of that area but they're happy with the fact that it looks pretty good on what you've done and they buy other works you know so um, 
Yeah, so it's funny way it goes, but I love painting outside. So, yeah, if you can if you can get rid of a few paintings while you while you're painting outside, mm. what more do you need? You know, um, you know, I'm not asking for a million dollars for any of my paintings or anything like that. You know, so um, you know, I don't think I'm any super duper uh, artist, but uh, I've been painting for a bloody long time, and and uh, and my work is, uh, you know fairly, you know, cha uh, changing all the time, um, you know, I've sold uh, two paintings, three paintings to, to an art lecturer years ago and he, he turned around to me and he said, Peter, don't change the way you're doing things, just keep doing what you're doing, and that's what I've done, so, yeah, so, you know, and there's a lot of uh, information out there now, too, for people if they want to learn. You know, you don't have to go out and spend $2,000 on a on a resort and learn to learn to paint there, unless you like a bit of wine and dining, you know, and you, you want to get out and do that sort of stuff, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's not, not a over expense to paint. The paint can be fairly dear, but... Uh, you know, you get to learn how to use that and what certain paints to to get and mediums and you know, it's it's all a learning process anyhow, so um Yeah, so I'm, I should have taken a picture. I was sitting on the back of the trailer here, I've got a board over the top of me, which actually keeps the rain off me if it drops or the um yeah, it just keeps the sun, sun off my head, saved me head burning, you know. Uh, and I've also got a table and chairs, or I've got my easels as well in the trailer. So I've got a few different ways I want to paint. If I want to stand up, I've got a, I've got my proper easel. Uh, you know, the old uh, Italian styled easel. Uh, so I can stand up and do a painting, because believe me, between sitting down and standing, the perspective of your painting changes dramatically. You wouldn't think it do, does, but it does. Uh, you know, so when you're taking photos too, it would be a good idea to just kneel down a little bit on your knees sometimes and just have a look at the perspective from that, uh, you know, position, not just as well as standing, you know, uh, because you can get some really nice close-ups and close-up of trees with a real beautiful sort of background of, you know, uh, 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 lovely compositions with beautiful trees and being down low, you know, and you can sort of feel like you're under the tree rather than just taking a photo of the tree, if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm not the greatest uh, teacher or, uh, what do you call it, explainer of stuff, um, but, uh, but anyhow, I try my best, and um, look, this is not, uh, you know, if I can throw a little tip here and there with things, that's fine, but it's... Good day. Hey. Yeah, yeah, go for your life, mate. Yeah, no, not worry, mate. Like bloody, uh, just something I do, mate. I say it's just something I do every day in my life. Oh, yeah. Something we'll do every day in my life. What's that? Well, I've got plenty of paints and I'm still working on the when the bridge was starting too. Down here, big ones. So but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd come down here. There's a lot of light change today. It's what? Levinus is perfect. Yeah, it's just just nice now. But it's gonna be hot. Yeah, it's gonna be high, but you know, it went through the park here in 93, 75. Mm. It's, it's nice quite possible to do that, but I don't think so. It's a bit of snow melting in there. Eh? A lot of snow got to come down. And, and look, if we do have abnormal rain, it'll probably make a big difference, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it just all depends. But to me, it doesn't matter because it just changes everything. <laughs> Something to look at, you know what I mean? Um, so.
it's a good bridge. Yeah, they've done, they've done a good job with it. Um, you know, no, there's been no interference really. It really, for a massive job that they've done. I mean, I live down here, and uh, just about, and uh, man, I've come in here, there's never, even with all the trucks and the graders, they've never buggered you around or anything like that. It's, it's amazing, really. They've done a good job. Even the environment, the environment hasn't been impacted that much. You know, it, it's done the town good, it, it, you know, the economy, in, in a way, because, I mean, you know, the trucks can get through town a bit quicker and that. Yeah. Yeah. They'll do all this up down here still. Yeah. I would imagine they would. They'd be silly if they didn't, because it is a nice little area for people to come and and it always has been. The locals always come down here. And the holidays, you know. So I think Southern Asia's still in there. It's what? Southern Asia's juice. The Southern Aid is good for the town, uh, you know, it's good for the people and yeah, the whole, the whole thing really, um, you know, but uh, in, in a world that we're heading into, we're, it's pretty unpredictable anyhow, you know, why would you waste your days, hey, you might as well enjoy your days, you know, yeah. now, you know, as you get older you sort of think, why well, waste it, you know. <laughs> Why waste it with all the hate and the bullshit that goes on? You know, just just enjoy it. Yeah. Are you a local? We've got a oh yeah. Yeah, we used to live. Me and Barbie used to live there years ago. But we 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 live in Broadford. Broadford, yeah. Oh, that's not far away. Uh, no, it's uh, 50 minutes. Yeah. We came up. Hello. We came yeah. up a fair bit. Yeah, I, I? We came up a bit because you know, my, my kids. Yeah. My daughter comes up with her kids and my son yeah. comes up with his kids. And yeah. We take it in turns a little bit. Yeah. And um, it's just, we don't have to prepare enough. We just jump in the car and go. Yeah. We don't have to pack the car much. Yep. We're only up every two nights. We go home Monday one time. Yeah. Oh, it's just a change, isn't it? Right. Coming down here is a change for me. I just get me out of the house. Otherwise, I'm yeah. paint. Otherwise, I'm just painting at home, you know. We, so uh, we stay at home every day. We just get up in the garden and work and stuff all the time. Yeah. Bit of a gardener. Yeah. We've got 52 acres, but I reckon we've got three acres as garden. Yeah. <laughs> Massive. Yeah. So you love gardening, so. Uh, yeah. Big stuff. Yeah, Mary Ann. That's a 
I'm going all right yourself, kiddo. You having a good time? Can we have a little spin? Oh, look, you can go for your life. Oh, that's beautiful. What a lovely day for it. It is, isn't it? Oh, it's a lovely day every day. It's a great spot. That's one thing I've been doing for 50 odd years. I've been doing it longer than the famous Hello. people. And, um, Hello, nice. yeah, just thought I'd come down here today, so I've been stuck at home. Yeah, it's a good day you know, to get out. It's bloody rain and yeah. stuff. You just, uh, you know, do it in between the, the drops of rain and stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so tranquil yeah. and peaceful. Yeah. Hey? So tranquil and peaceful, just sitting here painting. <laughs> yeah, you just painters? My daddy's. Yeah, you hear mad paint a lot, mate? Yeah. You hear paint all the time? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I've got a little girl that never sees her dad, I think. Uh, at the time, I'm just bloody always, always painting. Yeah, painting. But that's what I do, you know. It's uh, just a challenge, you know. It's just, yeah. but the more you do it, uh, yeah, it's just the more you, you want to do it, you know. Yeah. And yeah. the more you know about your paint, yeah. the composition's nothing, because you can spill out a composition anywhere, you know, because your brain will either put that line in there and it'll say, yeah, no, your brain does the job anyhow. Because you're using oils too, and that's Oil. a hard medium to use. Yeah, it's, um, oh, look, they're all, if you do use them all the time, the same. You know, a lot of people say watercolours, you know, mm. hard. they are in the way that once you put your mark down on a piece of paper, that's it, you can't with this. I won't finish it. I can, I'll start something else before I finish this one. Well, okay. I won't finish this here today. Yeah. And uh, I won't sit here all day painting either. I only come down here to get out of the house for a couple of hours with my little girl at home. But mm. I, um, yeah, sort of, you know, I've got, I'm working on about a hundred paints. Yeah, but the paints never end. When I die, yeah. I'm never going to finish it. Jimmy's like that, isn't he? That one's not finished. Yeah. That one's yeah. finished. You know, my like, dad's been painting me a painting for... <laughs> <laughs> about 10 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and look, it's, yeah, I've got some big paintings that I've been working on for probably four or five years now, and but I'm only, I might only, you know, it might be a rainy day and I think, oh, well, I'll just stick it up in the studio there and I'll give it a few hours, yeah. nothing yeah. there, but yeah. I'll never get around to finishing them, but yeah. I will eventually, I do yeah. eventually. Probably um, that's, that's unfinished to your eye, but other people might come along yeah, and just go, what well, I've that's done with a... this is it's just, all I'm doing is making a, a composition, and I call it a colour composition. Mm. Is all I'm doing is I'm pitching a bit of blue for the sky. I don't know mm. where I'm going with the bridge at the moment. I've got big ones I'm doing at the bridge that mm. I started before the, when, when the bridge was being done, but oh, okay. still working on them. Yeah. But the river was right down there too. Yeah. You know, it was down a fair way yeah, there. Yeah, it's but up pretty high at the moment. Yeah, I just thought I'd do this and, um, and uh, yeah, I could, yeah, I've changed it around. I was going to whack a paddle boat in this one because I've yeah. sold a few here like this. Oh, with the really? paddle boats and stuff. Yeah, wow. you do. You sell. Yeah. Any, when you paint on the spot. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you're painting on a spot and you've got a few paints, that's why I've got my little rack on the side of the trail. I usually oh, stick yeah. paints. If you can see how concerned I am about sticking paint, yeah, I couldn't <laughs> bother really. But, uh, yeah. uh, if it's a nice day, I would. And, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just nice. And it's, uh, it's nice to be able to pick up a few bob too at the same time. You know? Yeah, so, definitely. I'm on a pension now. Yeah, okay. But, buddy, uh, I still run this as a business. Yeah. And, uh, well, and why not? So you can run it. I mean, you can earn $10,000 before it affects your pension today. Yeah.